<laughs> so, you're back. Oh, I'm back, wow. It's been a little while. Yeah, yeah. Right? How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. How are you? I'm fantastic. You're okay. Yeah. yeah, you were you were working. That hula hooping moment? It was a moment. I was a moment. Um, I'm a little out of it. See that picture when you walk in next year? That's gonna be the picture that Don't say that. Leanne, strike that from the record. Strike <laughs> it. She's like done. Um, so we're gonna do something really fun right now, which is we're turning Arlen's fireside chat into a ask me anything. Okay? Anything. Anything. Uh, that is on topic. Okay. Yeah, it can be anything. Any, anything that is on topic. So this is your opportunity right now to talk to an investor, to talk to someone who has been in incredible rooms, who is funding incredible projects, and get some advice, some thoughts, right? Who's also so, gay. Yes. Yeah. That, I mean, that's why we're here. Um, <laughs> But, uh, so if you have a question, I want you to put your hand up. Uh, I am going, there are going to be microphones that will come around, right? Uh, and so... And y'all ask me questions all the time on Twitter, so I know you're not sure. I know, so I know that you legitimately have questions to ask. Okay, there is a hand all the way in the back corner by yeah. the door oh, behind the person in the neon pink hat. You see what I did there? Oh. Lots of direction. In the meantime, Arlen, yes. what are you most excited about right now? Um, the storylines on General Hospital are off the chain. <laughs> well, I haven't watched chain. General Hospital in like 20 yeah. years. Is Sonny yeah. still on there? Uh, yes, he is. He's in full effect. He just celebrated something like 25 years, 20 years on there. What? Yes, M M Maurice Bernard. Is okay. there a question? All right. Okay, we're, okay. we're ready Does for the question. Does anybody have a real... <laughs> okay. The, yeah, ready? And please make it a question so and I not got... a long comment. Okay, sure, go. I got a lot of questions. Um, well, yeah, so let me just say this first. I'm fangirling out right now. It is Khadija. What's up? Hey, people. Um, so a week ago, I didn't have a ticket here. I didn't have a place to stay, and I couldn't afford to get into this event. So uh, I just want to say to all the lesbians and to all my friends who made sure I got some miles here, who oh. let me sleep on their sofa, and yes. to the lesbian couple that gave me yes. access to the space today, thank you. So, so my question is about, um, I'm a new founder of Marijuana Matters. Yeah. I am trying to convince folks that people who have been criminalized for mm. marijuana for the last five decades deserve not a seat at the table, but they should be convening the table. Yeah. Yes, yes. I am trying to figure out how do I get folks, even in the age of legalization still being at the federal level, to, to believe that people do deserve a chance at this industry. I am finding it very hard to raise the money and get people to take me serious as a black woman. I talk about marijuana all the time, but it's not just about consuming, it's about how we actually use this as a game changer for people who are still living in poverty related to criminalization of marijuana. Yeah. Yeah. So Great. how do we make this possible? Great question. Yeah, so it, it's definitely a longer question than here, but I can tell you that um, I, and this may be controversial, but I have said publicly that I won't take pitches from non uh, of color founders when it comes to the cannabis industry. Um, it's just something that my brother was. My brother um, is, a, is a beautiful person, and he he still has a hard time getting an apartment because 10, 15 years ago he decided to have some like sell weed. And so when when someone comes to me and they're from a more uh, background and they're trying to raise money for this thing and you know they're getting millions of dollars it really does get on my nerves as well so um, it's something that we backstage we're very open to I think Diane's in the building and she's our resident uh, cannabis connoisseur <laughs> oh, shit. she just put Diane on full blast yeah I'm just okay. I mean she may not she may have left by now she <laughs> um, but we definitely see a lot of companies and and um, we want to we want to do as much as we can uh, in the, in that realm. So I'd love to talk about it more, and I'd love to meet you because I think you like flew here from far away. Or yeah. yeah, I would love to meet you. Yeah, thank you for what there you do. There you go. Yeah. Using your moment and your opportunity. I see you. There you did it. Okay, next question. Silence. Nope. Okay. I will sing. If there I we have. go. Hey, Arlen. My name is Lynn Muldrow. I am actually a 
new founder and CEO of Queer, Q-U-E-R-E, um, a co-working space for queer tech professionals. Nice. Um, I am wondering, so I'm at a place where I have people who are willing to offer funding for the project, but mm -hmm. I would like to retain ownership. Okay. of my, my yes. work and stuff. I have a cryptocurrency background to the project, and I'm wondering, like, should I go ICO? Mm. Should I go VC funding? I wasn't yeah. expecting that. I would say, just at first blush, I don't know anything else, but I would say, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think of ICOs today like LASIK eye surgery. Uh, I'm sure it's going to work out, but let somebody else figure it out first. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, do you already do you have the location right now? Do you have one lo location? I do not have my first location. I'm Where, still building the product. What city will it be in, do you think, the first Oakland. Location? Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't know if you have a website or a mailing list, but if you do, shout it out. If you don't, next time you know, when you're at an event like this, have mm -hmm. that, even if you have a mailing list, uh, so that people, when you say this, this crowd yeah. can probably make that happen for you as customers before any investor comes in and takes your equity away from you. Thank and then you the so investors much. will come chasing you. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. I think we have there and then. There's a question. Uh, oh, we got it. Great, awesome, great. Hi, hey. I'm Ruth Chandler Cook and I'm the founder and CEO of Hire Her. Well, hi to everybody with these three names. I like this. I'm gonna change my name to Ireland Catherine Hamilton Cook. Go oh, ahead. that sounds beautiful. Go ahead. Well, you know, my question is this: um, I'm connecting diverse talent to innovative industries faster, um, focused on STEM plus. And there's a lot of people looking at trying to solve the diversity and inclusion problem, but there's not enough of us doing it together. And getting, getting started, I really had a hard time getting people to really participate yes. um, with me. So do you have any ideas or suggestions about, I know I'm building a billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. How okay. can I get some people to work with me and let's get multi-billion dollars mm -hmm. um, right. solving this problem together? Right. Yeah, I mean, I think it's about, and, and congratulations and, and thank you for doing your work. Um, it's about you know creating those again. It's not enough information for me to go really into it, but it's about creating those opportunities for yourself. So, like right now, you could maybe there are like ten people, twenty people who are interested in that. And I didn't catch your name again, but Ruth. Mm -hmm. Two other names. Yes, hi for me. Um, yeah, hi, hire her. So H I R E her is the name of the, the company. And maybe what you can do is um, and again, if you've already done this, you know, let me know. But Start off by having these salons, having dinners, having meetups monthly. Um, start with as much uh, power as you already have, because I'm sure you already have it. And um, yeah, there are a lot of people working on it. And also I would say, find out, I know why you said the billion dollar thing, I get it and I appreciate it, but find out if that's the pitch. Find out if it needs to be a billion dollar company. Is, is, there, is there another pitch that is more impactful, that may get someone else's attention, that's not about um, uh, the returns? Great. Just a suggestion. I know there's more. There's I mean, always more, I know, but yeah, just, on, just based on that, I would just say is like retain as much, as much power as you already have. Good. And then over there, was a, there was one over here? Yes. Do we have a mic? And thank you. I know there's some people who are introverted and, and don't feel comfortable raising their hands. And I, Twitter. Uh, yeah, tweet at me and, oh, I'm so, Tweet at me and Arlen was here, A R L A N was here. And uh, I appreciate everyone, whether you're able to speak out or not. I'm sorry. You're doing great. Hello. Hi. I taught a Renee Parker, she, hers, Libra. Um. <laughs> And Jeopardy contestant, just yes. Jeopardy say it contestant, all. Yes. Um, bad B of the century, you know, something like. Um, <laughs> so obviously I'm a student. Uh, <laughs> um, I go to UC Santa Cruz, and what we're doing there. Oh man! Y'all, let's connect. I'm struggling. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm a Libra again. Um, for the first time, we're hosting a black career conference at our school. Okay. Um, so we're trying to be very intentional yeah. about who we include and things like that. But we're also trying to be very intentional about the money we accept from like outside sources because they're trying to use us for like, just Pictures, like Pictures, photographs. There you go. Yep. Thank Aesthetics. you. Yes. Bad things. Uh -huh. So 
one question the question I had for you is like where else do we go to find these funding this funding for like mm -hmm. food and like badges and things like that and not accepting those like there are bad a lot of vendors funders. who are great of color in this city and I know that because they reach out to me all the time um, I don't know if there's a, a curated list but Leanne has the hookup for you <laughs> nothing. She's very serious. Thank you. Yes. She's very serious. Whatever she said to you. Whatever she just said. Serious. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, I want a pony and a million dollars. All right, we have time for one more question. Back here. Uh, uh, back in the back, in the back, oh. in the back. Oh. oh, let's be fair. Right here. Go back, go to the back. Oh, in the go back. to the back. the back. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry. I appreciate you. you I appreciate you. In the back. Well done, people in the back. Well done. Thank you, people. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Heba. I, uh, okay, Angelique talked about access. I feel like I have access and I want to share it, but it's really hard to share it. Um, do you have any thoughts on how people that have access to certain things, whether it's knowledge, uh, funding, uh, mm. jobs, companies, whatever. How, how can we put that out there yeah. for other people? Do you, have, do you have something, I know this may sound simple to some people, but do you have like a blog? Do you have a vlog? I'm looking here because it's hard to see. Do you have like a vlog or something that um, lets people know I kinda you like exist? cut off social media too. So. You cut off oh. social media. <laughs> You might be able to do it anonymously. You might yeah. be able to do a pseudonym or something like that. Where, because okay. I think that probably you're going to have to have something online if you want to reach people. You can also do it locally, I'm sure. But um, that's one way I've seen people do it, where they 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 put out like I I have X amount of money and I'm giving out grants or I'm um, seeking out these types of people to make connections. And really, the connections are just as valuable, if not more, than the capital itself. Yeah. I think that'd be really powerful. Yeah. Um, if you if you posted something where people could get in touch with you and not necessarily it may even be better that they don't know who it's coming from until you actually engage with them yeah that could be really cool and and um, um, there's a lot of people in press who would want to cover something like that I like that idea thank you yeah. thank you thanks Arlen so much and for those of you who did not get to ask your questions you see that her Twitter handle is up so tweet tweet her out tweet, tweet. thank you, thank you.